Welcome to another Forest Pack tutorial where we share how to use those often overlooked but incredibly handy built-in effects presets. This week we're going to explain how to use the Tint by Boundary feature to colorize grass where it meets an edge. This is commonly seen in real life where there's heavy footfall or the conditions mean that there's less water available near the edges of a lawn because of the poorer quality of the substrate. Let's start by adding the grass. Open the library browser and select one of the layered lawn presets. This is quite a small area, so I'll use the ground base layer detail option. Click load selected and then pick the spline area and it'll automatically be populated. To make sure the grass grows right at the edges of the path, go into the areas rollout and change the mode to either point or edge. If you render now, you'll have a nice even sea of grass. But in reality, where it meets the path, often due to footfall and other factors, the grass can get flattened and grow less vigorously. To simulate that, let's use Forest Pack's Fall Off options. So enable Scale Fall Off. Increase the size of the Include Area. I'm going to use about 50 centimeters for my scene. So we don't want the plants to reduce to a zero size and disappear, so open the graph editor and move the point on the right hand side of the graph up a bit. As you can see, this scales the grass patches on all three axes, creating the characteristic dotty pattern you sometimes see when people use this feature. In this case, I don't want to see this, I just want the grass to be shorter. So to do that, enable the Effect Height Only option. Render now and the grass is shorter as it approaches the path. But it looks a bit healthy for something that's been regularly trampled, so let's use an effect to make it less healthy. Go to the Effects rollout, Click on plus to add a new effect. Click on the wand icon to open the effects library and navigate to the color group. Then select and load tint by boundary. This effect can control the output of a forest color map provided, and this is important, that the tint override option of the map is not enabled. When tint override is disabled in the map, the forest object itself controls the tint settings. This effect will add a gradual scale from pure white by the boundary to black a set distance away, and it can be used to mask between different materials. The effect has just one parameter which controls this distance. I'll use 50 centimeters in this example. To enable the effect to work, it's necessary to go to the material rollout and turn the random strength start and end both to 100%. If you change the display mode to points cloud, then you should see a preview in the viewports of what's happening. So great, but so far this isn't actually affecting the material itself. Let's change that. Go to the geometry rollout. Unfortunately, all of the items use the same material in this case. So we'll select them all and then instance the material to the material editor. Now, as you can see, it's quite a complex multi sub object material. So rather than editing each submaterial, which would be quite laborious, let's take the lazy route and wire the whole thing to a V-Ray blend material. Now we want to create a brown dry grass material for the first coat. Now fortunately there's already one in this material wired to material ID 1. Just find this and wire it to the blend materials coat 1 input. Now we'll need to create the mask, add a new forest color map and wire it to the blend input. Make sure you do not enable tin override, but do change the blending mode to normal. Now render again and you'll have a nice fall off from dried grass near the path to healthy grass further away. This will really help to make your grass areas much more realistic. Now let's add one more thing before we finish this tutorial. In the middle of this grass is an object. Typically in real life, this wouldn't be so easy to mow around and so the grass would often be longer in this area. We can use an effect for this too. If you recall, we used a scale effect to reduce the size of the grass near the include boundary. Now we want to do the opposite for an exclude boundary. Now unfortunately, in the areas rollout, there's only one graph shared between include and exclude areas. So we'll have to use a different technique, and this is where forest effects can help once again. So we add a new effect and open the presets. Select and load Z scale by exclude boundary. Now this works pretty much the same as regular fall off. So you'd set a distance and I'll use 40 centimeters this time. 
Next, you open the graph and this time move the final point in the graph upwards to make the grass longer around the trunk. It's pretty easy, right? These two effects combined allow you to add lots of handy details to your grass to really help bring scenes to life. Stay tuned for more forest effects tips coming soon and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notifications of each release. <laughs>